area now so got beautiful Mopars on display including this beautiful Dodge Charger Daytona here love the orange color on these nice I still have my Lego uh, my Lego model of this somewhere oh yeah yeah because I took the the 1970 1970 Charger uh, models kit and then I switched it over to a Daytona came out pretty good Because even got like the little hood scoops um, on the edges as well, so yeah That took the longest part was getting the nose though. That was the hardest thing was trying to get the nose And what I did I had to do a um, a modern take on it as well because I couldn't get a flap Anything to flap up so I just put the uh, headlights into it. So it was just like a modern uh, a modern nose piece, so. Oh wow, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, this is. Yeah, those are beautiful. Mm. Yep, we've seen this one at Daytona. We've also seen a uh, orange one as well. This one gets some road Yeah, this one get, this one travels is a lot. One of these we saw in '95, just ripping up the road one day. Uh, maybe. This one's got a Hemi in it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no telling how much that car went for. Nope. 1.2 million dollars. Uh huh. Yeah. Million. It helps when it's stock. <laughs> it really does. Mm hmm. Good. Challenger RT convertible, Challenger uh, four barrel convertible. Oh, this is an interesting Mach 1. Look at that. The uh, huh. Twister Special. That's interesting. Huh. That's interesting. The GTO with the that looks good. Yeah, that's also, and I think that's another judge over there too. Or is that just another GTO? It's GTO, GTO, well, of course it's a GTO. It's a GTO judge, idiot. <laughs> duh. Duh, 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 duh. Yep. Yep, there it is. Yep, they switched the logo on it. That's cool. This is interesting though. Twister special. <laughs> Love that orange too. Yeah. But it's very close to that one. Um, That's the Twister too. Yeah. But see, this is very close to that one race car oh, uh, that we saw. Yeah. Remember that? The uh, I forget what those are, those were called, but yeah. Uh, yeah. The Melly Jones. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all the churches. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Right wow. Walking over. Walking over. <laughs> Actually, first we need to walk this way and look at these cars because we'll never get back to them. <laughs> That's how that works. That's 442. Looks good. Oh wow, that's a lot of 442s. Yeah. Ooh, definitely does some uh, tire pressure on that one. Link tag too good. Sticker tires too. Yeah. Ooh. 
So the Black Ghost. Well, it's an honor to that car right there. You can see the back, uh, the back stripe on it. Interesting, but what was special about that car? Uh, 1970 Hemi Challenger RTSE Legendary Street Racer, the Black Ghost, to be offered at uh, Dynamica Mecham's Indy, May 12th and 20th. Yeah. Hmm. What I will note is uh, they didn't uh, go with the uh, special logo there for the RT though. All original, look at that. Interesting though, yeah. Hmm. Interesting, okay. But it's going to be 1 to 300, so that's going to be kind of rare then. Oh, well, see, also they got the Dodge right there on the hood, yeah. so that's a little bit different. Right, and you've never seen those wheels in silver before. No. Oh, and there's got the old style Challenger logo within the SRT on the side as well. That's also different, usually, more, a little bit more different than normal. Interesting. And also the uh, the hood. Right. The hood thingies. What are those called? Uh, scoops. Not the hood scoops, the hood. Um, Uber, oh, pins. 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 Yep, pin pins. Thank you. Interesting. Okay. Oh, here. Interesting. Okay. All right, so here we go. Sprinter at Dodge website. Yep. Yeah, Research on the spot. Back in the summer of 70, street racing scene. Show up at various racing spots. Yeah. No one know who the driver was. Hmm. It would be unclear why he would disappear for long periods of time. But everyone in the scene knew the car. Interesting. Yeah. Have to read up on it. Well, with them uh, closing down all the racetracks and stuff, I'm sure there's not going to be any street racing going on in the future. You think? <laughs> yeah. And it is a, a black a blackout Dodge. Oh yeah. So see, they went with like a dark navy stripe then to make it stand out. That's cool. Beautiful Trans Am. TA 6.6 liter. That's cool. Yeah, and the matte finish, yeah, the matte finish on the hood is always cool. Now see, that's one thing I haven't liked about how Dodge has done uh, their matte hoods, is that they didn't do the whole thing. They just did the hood the self, itself. If they uh, carried it over all the way to the side, that would have been a little bit more interesting, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's a ginormous hood scoop. Oh, and look at the orange. Yeah. Inside, yeah, that's cool. Oh, a one of one in this color combination. That's cool. Yeah. Nope, it looks pretty. AAR. What is that, American? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, look at that. That's cool. Yeah, that are just so really perfect. Is the exhaust would go into the muffler right underneath. Yeah. And then where it goes in, it would loop back, and they'd have a pipe to come out, and the exhaust go here. No axle belt. Ah, nice. That's cool. And this is just, yeah. That is so cool, just judge and a judge and a judge and another judge. Wow. Also, look at the different wings. That's interesting. Ooh, Survivor. That's cool. And then the color combos. That looks like that's original. That's really cool color combo there. It's almost on that, um, the Viper, the last generation Viper, where you couldn't get one with the same color combo. Oh, yeah. That's almost, no it's almost kind of what's going on here to some extent. This is me. I've never seen so many. Oh, that color, yeah. 
GTOs 11. Now this is interesting. Why is it on the spoiler? Yes. Interesting. So what use? Yeah. So that year spoiler there. So how's it? Okay. Yeah. I was about to say because it looks attached, but it isn't. Look at how close they got that then. Oh, and there is a buffer there as well to keep it from banging the paint. Okay, cool. That's neat. Cool. And then just a regular GTO there. Although, is there really such a thing as a regular GTO at this point? Not really. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, and we got more of the winged all lined up. Look at all of them. Oh, that's they're supposed to have uh, Bobby Allison's Daytona, I think. Yeah, but well, it's supposed to be the Coca-Cola one. Is it supposed to be here? Oh, I love all of these. Beautiful orange. It is. Oh, these things are beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Win. Yes. The red kind of clashes a little bit, but other than that, yeah. That is cool. And then the black wing. That's sweet. Oh, I love the color behind it, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that interior. Ah. Yeah. 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 yeah, this one's cool. Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Yeah, that's neat. That's sweet. Yeah, almost, right? That's beautiful. Yeah. That's just awesome. Good night. And look at this interior. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful interior there with the wood grain. It's awesome. That is insane. Oh, boy. Hmm? Yep, Betty Blue. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, and the Roadrunner with the helmet, racing helmet on. Nice little Easter egg there. Oh, it looks like that one had some sort of patch going on. Is that? No, that looks like uh, that's going on everywhere. Okay. Interesting. And the beautiful green here as well. That's just awesome. Oh, I love those guys. I mean, just looking yeah. down and seeing that many wings yeah. together. That's oh, interesting. Look at the adjustments. Ooh, Duke and Duchess of Daytona. What is that from then? Oh, so they could adjust it. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, this one has like a special hood and everything on it. Interesting. Keith Black racing engines. That's cool. I like that. Right, heading back uh, this way, looking at the other side of the room. Ooh, Ferrari F40 over there. Looks good. What? Yeah, F40 is cool. Well, I mean, it looks so much like the SRX car, so. Yeah. It just looks so much like the SRX car. I think, uh, which I think is what 
Everham was trying to go for. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just, it's good arrow. Yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic looking call there. Yep. Insane. That's really cool. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Nice interior seats. Yeah. Yeah, and just the classic. Yeah. Just the classic wheels as well. That's cool. Oh, Roadrunner with the air grabber. Uh huh. Are, yep. Is a 55 has a short wing. Uh huh. Back. 56 has a little bit longer wing, but then a 57 has even longer wing. Gotcha. And that's how you can tell the difference. That's cool. Beautiful Camaro. That's actually no. That's a really pretty Camaro. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Jaguar. Ooh, it's edition um, GT350. Yep. That's cool. Nope, no, not really. <laughs> oh, and they're the same one in white. Yeah, exactly. That one's got Paxton Supercharger. Ooh! This is a rare bird. Yeah. That's cool. And that GT looks like it's got a special cut on it over there as well. This one's an auto. It's an auto? Ooh! What an interesting car. Huh. Looks nice on the inside, that's for sure. Yep, the little Hertz logo on the wheels. This is Patrick Williams. Yeah. See, so you got the Hertz logo caps on them and stuff. That's pretty cool. They have the automatic this one. Yeah. Silver still with own stripes, nice. That's green wheel brakes, carbon fiber. Ooh, and the orange interior. Sweet. Do you see how with the, this particular silver though, it kind of makes it look blue ever so slightly in different lighting? Kind of interesting. Yeah. But it gives you kind of a, a, a ghost um, golf paint scheme illusion almost. Because in certain lights, it, you can see like the blue. It just it looks very interesting. Look at the little parking space right there. Yeah, that's so cool. Yep, it's a lot. That's very cool. But then look at how much orange is in the interior. Wow, that is sweet. Rainbow brakes right up to the front. And then these light little sections are cool too. Look at that. That's cool. Even for a Ford, it's pretty incredible. It's a very pretty car, yeah. Just look how complex the headlights are. Exactly, yeah. Then all the carbon fiber. I mean, that's a design studio right there. Yep. Just absolutely awesome. I like them. Yep. Right through there. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yep. That's a nice looking car. Ooh. So I come this way here. Mm -hmm. 
guys. Watch your back. Nice. You'll get another one, Kim. That's pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Convertible. Yeah. That looks good over there. Ooh. And the wheels are weird. of everything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It has silver stripes. That's cool looking. Here's all the blue stripes on the tires. Catalina here. Yeah, and then you got the blue wheel stripes. Yeah. So that's that's pretty interesting. This uses the F body accessory uh -huh. where it lowers the alternator down. Yeah. That's what was funny about the other Camaro. It is not the truck accessories. Right. Exactly. Huh. That's interesting. Ooh, a bunch of oldies. Wow. And this cord. You don't see cords too much. Yeah. Oh, old Cadillac sign too. Look, Look at that. The headlights are. Yeah. Huge. Oh, don't drop your phone. And you got the driving lights. Don't yeah. drop it. I already did. <laughs> yeah. Look at the giant Cadillac sign. That's pretty cool as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's before LEDs and mm -hmm. LEDs. Because a lot of these were running, oh yeah, V16. 452 V16. Six, 165 horsepower, 452. Yeah. Can you imagine a torque though? Yeah, torque's probably incredible. One of 12 known to exist. Wow. Pristine looking. Yeah. Probably real wood. Yep. Wood. Looks like some probably updated uh, interior, I'd say. Wow. Oh, Packard 12, yep. Yeah. That's insane. Ooh. Yeah, got the little box on the back for you. Hmm. That is cool. Yep. That's awesome. Mm hmm Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, see that. That eh, looks interesting. Yeah. Supercharged. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the pop up headlights. Yeah. That's fascinating on the exhaust. Wow. Yeah. A little bit before its time almost. What? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's fascinating. Wow. That's cool. Firestone uh, white walls. Yeah. That's pretty fascinating. Cool. Very, very cool. Alrighty, so that does it for this inside tent anyways. We'll see what else we inside see here. Book. Yeah, but this is uh, 
Wow, a lot of cool this stuff. Is where the big money is. It is, yeah. So, alrighty, we'll see you guys in the next video.